Hello everybody, Georgia Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this funny card. To make this card I used the stamp sets Amazing Life, which is in the occasional catalogue. And if you spend £45 or more, you can get a free stamp from the Celebration brochure. And I got this. So hoppy together. Little frogs. I think it's that cute. So I'm going to be using that image. I am going to change the colour as this card I use retired colours. I uh, was Wisteria Wonder and Perfect Plum. And now I'm going to use Mango Melody and Pumpkin Pie. So you need a card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths. A piece two pieces of whisk no no a piece of whisper white measuring five and five eighths by three and seven eighths a piece of pumpkin pie measuring five and five eighths by three and seven eighths and a piece of white cardstock at five and a half by three and three quarters so we're going to stamp on that and I think I just put I did just put the word happy birthday in that one so um, I never got happy birthday out so let me get happy birthday out and pop it on a block alright so to get started we'll need the smaller one of the two whites and we're going to stamp the frog. Ink up my block or my stamp. And we'll put him to the side here. Yeah. firmly. Now this frog one is actually a cling stamp making the uh, back ends really sticky and if you um, stick, it on, stick them on wrong the stickers you can't take them off As they ruin the stamps because they stick that well. Now to cut them off here you have to be very careful because they stick so well. As you can see this sticker is not on here properly. I don't know if you can see that. It's I've got a flap but I'm not going to pull it off. I, I ignore the stickers when I'm stamping. So just be warned on that. Oh, need that again. Right. Now the cake. Not the cake. Life's too short for cake. So. And this I'm going to put a little bit higher. And then the birthday cake. Well, I do turn this sideways so that I can get the cake in his hand. This was not my idea. I got this idea out of Pinterest. remember the person well there wasn't a name it was like a blog 
name stamping because I can or oh, I can't remember what it was called but yes it's not my idea it came from Pinterest right and this one all I did was put happy birthday in middle that's fine so that's that I think I've even cleaned all my stamps which I'm pleased about right just trying to kill time so I can colour in this I'll stay in my mouth right I have to bring the blends out my groovy box as you can see a lot easier to work with than that silly box I had Right then, the colours I'm going to use are uh, Mango Melody, that's Daffodil Delight, so it's not that one, so it must be this one. Yep, so what I did, I coloured in the word cake. I think I've used this stamp already on a card. I got this stamp free in April. And never used it. Right now we cover colour in the cake. I think I was waiting for other people um, to put Pinterest uh, pictures on Pinterest to give me ideas. the dark out pumpkin pie which is, is it this one yeah Oof. just go in the curly bits of the cake And the flame. And I think we'll have a blue candle. So we'll do it with. Well, this is green. Never mind. Right, to colour the biking, I use grey and black. Black for the wheels. Wheel. And 
do that dot in the middle there and a black seat Grey, I just did the chain and the petals. And the bar in the middle, I'm actually going to do it in dark grey. I did the last one in red and I thought it looked silly. To that little spot. That and this seat, that's it. And then the frog, keep no frog, we're going to do an apple green. So I took the dark and I went round the edge. Under his eyes, across the top of his head, his mouth. And I also did his arms and legs in dark. Covered in to blend in the um, the dark apple green with the light and there we have our frog right I like the too short a bit darker. So what I did was I got my black um, stamp and write marker and with the thin end, ooh, that's the thick end, thin end I just went over it a steady hand for this you could make it darker by using your stamp positioner or in Stampin' Up's case Stamparatus and keep stamping it until it's as dark as you want it
quiet, concentrating. There you are. Lose two. Yeah, I'll go around, that's it. Lose two short to say no to cake. Which is true. <laughs> Depending on what kind of cake it is. Right, let's put this card together. So we'll stick this on here. This will only leave a tiny border. If you can get it on straight, that is. And then put this. On. Ooh. Yeah, that's right, way. Right? Thought I was going to put it on upside down then. I got a little mark there. And then pop this. Inside. Well, I hope you like that. Another flat card. Never thought of that when I made it. If you like it give us a thumbs up and if you'd like to see more of my cards please subscribe and press the bell button next to it and you'll be notified of any more cards that I bring out which is usually a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thank you for visiting and I hope to see you again soon. Bye.